everyone, it's Haley, and today I'm going to be picking my favorite and my least favorite from each of the shelves on my bookshelves. I'll explain in a moment. So this is like kind of a hard video to title. I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to title it yet, but this was actually an idea from one of you guys. I'm not sure if it was on Instagram or on YouTube. I don't think it was Twitter, but I actually really loved the idea. I think it was a fabulous idea and I added my own little twist to it. So the suggestion was to go through each of my shelves within like my bookcase and pick one book that is my favorite. But I also want to pick a book that is my least favorite just to spice things up a little bit, you know, keep it controversial, keep it interesting. Basically, I thought this would be a fun and easy video to film and I haven't gone through and like picked them ahead of time. I'm literally just gonna look at the shelf and then pick one as I'm looking at it. But I also might do this for like the book that I'm most excited to read on each shelf. Let me know if you would want that. But yeah, let's just pick a book from each shelf that is my favorite, yeah! It's one in the morning when I'm filming right now, can you tell? Hello, just popping in from editing here. So this was filmed like a while ago, so no, I didn't change my bookshelves back to that sort of rainbow. It's still like that rainbow, so yeah. I'm gonna start over here, so shelf number one. What is my favorite and least favorite book here? So there are a fair amount of unread books on this shelf. Kind of worried about that, like going through the shelves, but we do have some like fair contenders for my favorite. There's the Dream Thieves. Ooh, no, I know what my favorite one is. My favorite one is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. This is a fantastic book if you haven't read it yet read it, like rectify that right now. So this is definitely my favorite book on that shelf. The other contenders were honestly just sequels to other things. There is A Court of Thorns and Roses, but I like The Hate You Give more than that. Now as far as my least favorite on this shelf, I don't know because the ones that I have on here are actually books that I have quite enjoyed. I guess that my least favorite on this shelf would probably be Ensnared by A.G. Howard. This is the second or third book, I can't remember, of the Splintered trilogy, which is an Alice in Wonderland trilogy. I like it a lot. I like the Alice in Wonderland aspects of it, but it does get a little bit corny and cheesy at times, and I'm not super into that part of it, so this would be my least favorite. Moving along over here, we'll go this way and like, in the way of the rainbow. My second shelf, we have Wolf by Wolf, which is a recent favorite. But there's also a Luminae, and The Sun is also a star, and Love and Other Words. Oh my goodness, this is a really difficult shelf. We have Scythe on here, Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. Oh god. There's also Enna Burning, which is my favorite of the books of Bayern. Oh, why? The shelf is too hard. Why? Okay. I, like, there's so many books that I love on this shelf, I didn't even realize that. I feel like I want to go with Wolf. I want to go with all of them. I want to go with The Sun is Also a Star. I want to go with Wolf by Wolf. But I really love Illuminae, so I think I'm going to go with that one. But like, I'm really torn, but I think this is my favorite from this shelf. Wow, this is actually really hard. Before I put this back, actually, I'm going to look and see which is my least favorite on here. Do, 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 do. I don't even really keep books that I don't like anymore, so this is even harder than it was before. I think, though, my least favorite on here would be Stargazing by Jen Wang. I don't dislike this book, it just, out of the ones that I have to pick from, it stands out the least to me. Over here is going to be difficult because my chair is right here and Sputnik is fast asleep in it, so I'm going to have to, like, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I'm like Captain Morganing it right now though, but whatever. So onto the first yellow shelf here. We have, I already see a book that I didn't really like and I don't know why I still keep it, but I do. The Hate You Give is on here again, but I'm going to disregard it, which might be cheating, but just because I have already picked it for another shelf. So I will disregard that one. I think that my favorite from this shelf Mm. Shadow and Bone is on here. The Crowns Game by Evelyn Skye, which I really liked. I think is severely underrated. King of Scars, obviously, like a lot. But I think that Crown of Midnight might be my favorite from this shelf. It is, I believe, my favorite installment in the series. I haven't read it in so long, but 
I think that this one would be my favorite from the shelf. Oh no. I will say though, I already know my least favorite and that is What If It's Us by Becky Adler-Talley and Adam Silvera. I didn't really care for this book very much at all. So least favorite. Now coming back over here to the green books. I'll go here so then you can actually see me. So green, we have a few favorites on here. We've got The Kiss of Deception, The Unexpected Everything, Entwined I also enjoyed, The Fault in Our Stars is on here, Eliza and Her Monsters. I do know that The Fault in Our Stars is on another shelf though, so maybe I'll save that one for the other shelf. I am going to go ahead and I'm going to, no, I'm gonna pick The Fault in Our Stars. This is the Project for Awesome edition. I forget when, it was like 2014. 2014, yes, exactly but this would be my favorite from this shelf. I did take a peek at the shelf with the other editions of The Fault in Our Stars to make sure that this was my pick here. And it is indeed, although Eliza and Her Monsters, that's a close one. But for my least favorite book, this is kind of another easy one, Every Heart a Doorway by Sean and McGuire. The Wayward Children series, you guys know my feelings on it. I basically read them because they're short and they boost up my Goodreads goals, so I continue with it for that reason, but I think they're just okay books in my personal opinion. Next shelf over here we have not, mm, this is an okay shelf. We have Shatter Me, A Fire and Stars. Oh, 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 I lied. This is kind of a difficult shelf, but it's not really a difficult shelf. We have Stalking Jack the Ripper, which I also enjoyed, but we also have, I mean, Fangirl, I love, but we have like one of my favorite books of all time, which is The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. This was my favorite book of, was it 20? It wasn't 2019, was it? What's in here? Oh, it's one of my business cards. Amazing. It's like, what's falling out at me? I think this was my favorite of 2018. I didn't read it last year, did I? I'm pretty sure this was 2018. Either way, it is an all time favorite of mine. So this is my favorite from the shelf. My least favorite, however. They're all pretty close. I have quite a few like four star reads on here, but I think The Retribution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. I feel like I've fallen in out of love with the series a little bit, so I think that's why. Next up here, we've got quite a few unread books on this shelf, but Night Owls, I enjoyed. Frost Like Night, The Language of Thorns, oh, The Raven Boys, and the selection. I like the selection a lot. It's like a guilty pleasure, but I think that The Raven Boys is my number one here. I'm trying to remember, I just filmed the tier ranking video, and I'm trying to remember if I ranked the selection above The Raven Boys. I don't think I did though, but either way. No, this I think was in my demigod tier, but The Raven Boys, I just, I really love it. It's like a solid series, so. This one is great. The Valiance. Oh no, I didn't see that. Okay, I changed my mind. I love the Raven Boys, but I love The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton more. Okay, I could not, not with this one. This one like has to be it. It has to be. This is one of my favorite books of all time. So yeah, this is my favorite off of this shelf. And then as far as my least favorite goes, this one's kind of another easy one because we have, actually no, I was gonna say In an Absent Dream by Shauna McGuire, but I don't wanna pick that series for every shelf that it's on. So I'm gonna skip that one. And instead, I think my least favorite would be Leah on the Offbeat by Becky Albertalli. I enjoyed this quite a bit when I first read it, but upon thinking about it and kind of being over the hype and discussing it with some other people, I don't love this book, so this will be my least favorite. And now back over here. So this is where we have The Fault in Our Stars and I cheated. But I just kind of glanced quickly to see if I had some other top competitors, and I do. So on here we have Her Royal Highness, which is obviously up there. Beauty Queens by Libba Bray, love that one. The Upside of Unrequited, I also love. That's one that's like close to my heart because I find it very relatable. The Girl in the Blue Coat, however, also love that one. Not really relatable, but like I do have a kinship with that book because it's set in the Netherlands during World War II and it taught me a lot about like what my family experienced. So there is that element to it. I'm trying to see if there's a very large expanse of sea is also really good. Always Never Yours. I think though for my favorite off of this shelf, 
it has to be Her Royal Highness by Rachel Hawkins. I gushed about this book so much last year and it's for a good reason. It's fantastic. Oh, I also really like History's All You Left Me. Ugh, but no, I'm sticking with my pick. So my least favorite book on this show, I think it would be The Geography of You and Me by Jennifer E. Smith. I almost said Jennifer Brody, but it's Jessica Brody. Struggles. But this book got me out of a reading slump when I was in finals one year, but it still is just like an okay average book. We have some good books on this shelf too. So we have These Broken Stars, Salt of the Sea, The Chaos of Standing Still, The Bromance Book Club, but I think that above all Salt to the Sea, this book is so touching and fabulous. I, oh, I just love it a lot. And my least favorite read on this shelf I would say is probably The Pearl Thief by Elizabeth Ween. I did like it, but it was one that I kind of forgot about right after I read it, unfortunately. Maybe it's just when I read it, but I don't know. That's what I'm sticking with. We are almost to the point where I can't see these shelves anymore. <laughs> it's gonna suck, but here we have Caraval, The Court of Mist and Fury, Torch Against the Night, American Street. Do we have any other? The Raven King, Throne of Glass. I think that, oh, A Million Junes is also really good, but I think Throne of Glass is honestly my favorite off of here. I I do enjoy this book and enjoy the series. Oh no, I picked Crown of Midnight. Never mind. I forgot about that. I'm not going to do the same from a series. Okay, so I've covered my base with Throne of Glass. We'll go with that. There's my Raven Boys. The Raven King by Maggie Seabotter will be my favorite for the shelf. I should face them out. Oh, I should have done that. Let's just... Let's pretend I did that the whole time, okay? Let's pretend and it's fine. That was such a good idea, Haley. Way to go. If only you had thought of it at the beginning of this dang video. Oh well, you live and you learn, folks. You live and you learn. Okay, now they're all face out. I feel like that, I don't know. It makes me happier. My least favorite on this shelf, I would say The Air by Kira Cass. These last two additions to the original selection series that follow her daughter, they just they weren't as good the daughter's very annoying so yeah i could do without those now down here purple shelf we're getting to one of my favorite parts on my shelf we have my lady jane we also have radio silence oof we have skyward mm, why though that's so mean okay daughter of the burning city is super good too oh my goodness i'm not even in frame okay i it's honestly skyward radio silence and my lady jane i love all three of those i think my lady jane though it just makes me laugh so much <laughs> this one is very near and dear to my heart and i should reread it soon so i guess i'll go with this one as my favorite and then my least favorite that would probably be geekerella by ashley poston it was an okay read. Once again, just not really a standout. Now, pink books. I don't think we have a lot. Wanderlust, I like that. That was such a weird way to say that, but I did it. Oh well. Furthermore by Tahara Mafi, like that one a lot. The Astonishing Color of After, love that one. But I also really, oh no, I just saw it. Daisy Jones and the Six, but also Red, White, and Royal Blue are both on this damn shelf. Okay. <gasps> Why? I used to have Daisy Jones and the Six on this shelf too, which I mean, I did have a lot of favorites on this shelf, but but Daisy Jones was my, this was definitely my favorite of 2018 because this was my favorite of 2019. And as much as I really, really love Red, White, and Royal Blue, I do think that I love this a little bit more. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I hate it. My least favorite read on here would be actually a recent one and that's The Right Swipe by Alicia Ray. There's a lot going on in here and simultaneously nothing. So yeah. <laughs> now we're getting to the challenge which is to get back here but I'm gonna take a gander. Ooh, it's not looking good folks. So on here we have do, 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 Looking for Alaska, The Diviners, The Hazelwood, Children of Blood and Bone, Heartless. I think it's really between Looking for Alaska, The Diviners, and Heartless. I love Heartless a lot, but I also love The Diviners a lot. And I think that The Diviners, oh, can I even get it out? I can't get it out. No. Okay, we're just gonna pretend. The Diviners is back there and that is my pick for my favorite book because I just, I think of it and I'm like, I get chills because it's so well written, but it's stuck behind the chair, so. Oh well, least favorite on this shelf, do do do. I don't really have strong, like, not liking feelings toward any of the books on this shelf to be honest but 
Hmm, I guess A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J Maas. It didn't really need to happen. When I read it first, I liked it because I was caught up in the hype of it and I was like, ooh, new Sarah J Maas, but I don't think it really was necessary. That one I could get out though. Yay! Now down here, we've got, ooh, we have The Hunger Games and we have Crooked Kingdom and we have Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating. That sucks a lot, okay. So, mm, this is so hard. Like I love these books in different ways, but oh, there's also Looking for Alaska on here too. Okay, I think I have to pick Crooked Kingdom. This is like my favorite sequel ever. I loved it. It broke my heart, but I also loved it. So mm, that's my choice. I'm not fully confident in it because like the freaking Hunger Games, but we're gonna stick with it. We're committing, okay? Oh, that hurt. My least favorite is once again an easy one, and that is Roomies by Christina Lauren. This is one of my least favorite of their books, to be honest. I wish I had liked it more, but it just missed the mark for me. I realize now, as I look at the next shelf, where there's Six of Crows and not really a lot of other books that I feel super passionate about, that I could have just picked Six of Crows and The Hunger Games, but like, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna do it. I was gonna say, we're committing to our decisions, but I don't need to commit to anything, okay? So moving back we are going to pick the hunger games Woo! and then six of crows is my favorite off of this shelf there's just not a lot that i'm like super passionately loving on this shelf i like snow like ashes i like the unbecoming of mara dyer but like i don't necessarily love you know and and my least favorite here i think would be three dark crowns by kendara blake i love the concept the execution i didn't love so much I wish I did. Next shelf, we have Miss Peregrine's, Prisoner of Night and Fog, Clockwork Angel, An Ember in the Ashes, The Darkest Minds. It's really between The Darkest Minds and Prisoner of Night and Fog, but Prisoner of Night and Fog, like, it just blows my mind. So I feel like that one, but I also feel like The Darkest Mind. I'm not committed to that decision once again. Hi, cat. I'm petting the cat. You can't see her, but she's there. That's kind of mean of me to not show you her, but it would be such a pain to change the angle, honestly. I'm sorry. My least favorite book on this shelf would be... Ooh. There's like giant series on this shelf, so there's not really that much. Sorry, you can't see me at all. So this one's kind of hard, but I think it would be Born Wicked by Jessica Spotswood, but like it's not a least favorite that I didn't like it. This is like a 4 or a 4.5 out of 5 star book, so I did still enjoy it a lot. It's honestly just like out of the options that one. Oh my god that was a calf workout we're at the bottom yay so bottom shelf here what did i do to this book it's all dirty on the side oh no sad oh shit i just noticed that okay but i'm pre-planning so we're fine i kind of cheated again turtles on the way down is my favorite from here i was like gonna say that without a shadow of a doubt but the book thief is on that shelf but it's also on the next shelf so cheating there are some other really good contenders here though we've got queen of blood obviously the book thief pride i like hunted a lot after alice was good but yeah turtles all the way down is fantastic mental illness representation so good my least favorite down here would be i have lost my way by gail foreman but once again it is one that i enjoyed i liked all the characters and that you were following them like doing their own thing but yeah that was a way to describe a book well this shelf is quite stacked we've got sadie we've got to all the boys i've loved before codename verity and between shades of gray war cross but i have to go with the book thief obviously we knew it was coming if i like if i hadn't had turtle all the way down that would have been my first instinct but I always think of this copy first now when I think of the book thief for some reason. I think it's because it's my favorite. It's really pretty, but definitely my favorite. This is like my holy grail, one of my favorite books of all time. My least favorite on here is pretty easy once again. One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus. I don't hate this book. I just didn't really like it. <laughs> what am I even saying anymore? It's two in the morning. Wow. I think I said it was one in the morning like two seconds ago. What time is it? It's 1.51, so I'm not wrong. Finally, the shelf is like very hidden. It's also a half shelf. I don't have the shelf full. So by your side, a very large expansive sea, the cruel prince, war cross, unwind is actually really good. On the come up, oh I see London, I see France I liked a lot. Actually some really good reads on here. I do have my least favorite though, 
That is The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary. I just read it recently and didn't really care for it. You guys know that, unfortunately. For my favorite though, I think I am actually going to go with War Cross. It has such a cool world, honestly. I love. That actually reminds me, I don't think I included War Cross in my tier ranking video. Oh well, but those are all of my favorites and least favorites for each shelf. I was going to go through and recap and like tell you each title, but it was hella boring and it went on for a really long time. So just look at it, look at it. This was actually a lot of fun. It was difficult, but I had a lot of fun doing it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you to whoever came up with this idea. It was a great one. And do let me know if you would like me to do like the book that I'm most excited to read on each shelf. Maybe the book I'm least excited to read too. I don't know if that would be boring, but that is what's going on here. So I hope you guys are doing well, staying healthy and taking care of yourselves and staying inside. And I will see you guys in a new video very soon. Bye!